Hello and welcome back to another mount video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Continuing our look at items added to the game in patch 6.5 and obviously beyond now as we look towards FanFest. This then is a video all about the Island Adenia mount. This is a mount that you can only get from the Island Sanctuary or from the market board if you have a serious amount of gill. We previously talked about this and how it would take me about 30 weeks to farm out the mats. I actually went ahead and found some very cheap Vegetal vouchers, of which we need 200 in total. Just an idea then of how this is earned, because some people might be curious. Essentially, once you hit rank 20 in your island sanctuary, and you have completed all of the upgrades for your buildings as well, and it's basically finished the island Island Sanctuary off uh, in this final 6.5 update, you'll gain access to a new section on the Felicitas Furball called the Felicitas Favors. This essentially is a mini game that upgrades and uh, changes every single week, and it's actually not tied to uh, like a server or anyth anything like that. This is bound to your character. For example, if I was to explain that a little bit better, my girlfriend has completely different crafts than myself that she would need to do if she wanted to get her felicitous tokens so this new to uh, token currency is earned by shipping a set amount of specific craft so as you can see uh, a lot of my crafting has switched just simply to make sure that i've done the workshop agenda in accordance with the aisle work stuff if we look at the previous week i couldn't be bothered to do anything else for cowries i probably should have but i was too busy to think about that i just wanted to make sure i had all of the items that was necessary to ship the set amount there's a brand new button that unlocks as well that tells you exactly what amount you need to ship within that particular week as you can see from the week start to the week end now this next week is coming up so essentially what it was asked me to do is squid ink pumpkin puddings and bathtubs yours might be completely different you'll see that the variety of tokens does actually change in terms of the bonus and what you get a bonus for but is roughly the same kind of um sort of thing every time so it involves you actually listing this stuff if you're curious about this even further when you go to actually set up your agenda it will show you the current week's available things things you would need to craft for the current week current cycle uh, with a normal felicitous head token icon and if you want to see next week's uh, without going to that menu it has a little green arrow that way you can be like right well next week i need to set up the squid ink right and then if i need to check how many i could be like okay well i need you know i need eight of those so let's list eight of those and ideally what you would try to do is find something that goes with squid ink obviously would join to that uh with the tooltip information there it says marine merchandise or ingredients and make carries at the same time which i couldn't be bothered with but let's say you wanted to just set this up quickly another great feature just to mention is you can right click or sub command on an agenda that you've set up so for the while well, it were first workshop and then you can copy that sub command or right click on the second workshop and then copy paste it it's one of the best features and if you don't know about that well hopefully that's helped but now we've explained how to get the tokens you will need 200 vouchers now the tokens as we saw you get around 70 on average per week uh, roughly that's not taking into any consideration on times whether that bonus might be lower or higher for that week i'm not sure i guess it's too early to know but if you go to the exchange felicitous tokens tab on the horrendous hoarder you'll find two things first of all there's a material container that can actually uh, you can get the outdoor stairs mobile stairs we did a video on that you can also get uh, a plethora of things including the other mount uh, other mandragora mount and a, a bunch of other stuff like glamour and minions or furniture that sort of stuff um, those will cost you 10 however the vouchers that we need 200 of as you can see i've purchased some already from the market board so, since they're actually tradable is uh, basically the equivalent of 10 felicitous tokens per one so as you can see if i had five tokens i could get 50 if i had seven tokens which i guess would be the average I would be able to, uh, sorry, 70 tokens, I'd be able to get seven vouchers. Essentially, what I have managed to find is 200 of these in the last couple of weeks that were around 1 million to start with, but then they've crashed all the way down to around 200 to 300,000 gil. Now, this is mostly due to people 
while wanting to make quick gill. They've got their island sanctuary to 20, they've caught up, and they don't really care about the mounts, but they just want to make a quick amount of gill. If that is the case, you are totally going to be able to sell these for a decent amount of gill, but undercutting them down to 200k, well, it kind of defeats the point. It takes something that would cost you know, upwards of 300 to 400 million gil down to something that's going to cost you 60 to 70 million gil. And that's essentially what's happened. So definitely check your market boards, shop around a bit if you're after the mount. And by the time it hits Christmas uh, or like January next year, these things are going to be down probably to like 100k, maybe even less per token and you're probably going to get a mount for about 30 to 40 million gil i would be surprised if you didn't already so that's how the market has crashed uh, a lot quicker than i expected so let's do the uh, honorable thing and spend this currency then so we're going to spend about 60 to 70 million gills worth of tokens here and uh well no, uh, of, of vouchers on the other tab which is exchange vouchers for mounts currently there's only one mount available on here which is the island Adenium whistle hopefully in the future with other updates to island sanctuary minor updates which are still being created into the future they've said at square enix um hopefully they add more gill sinks and ways to make currency with these vouchers because it is a good way of making gill and also a good way of sinking gill and they like you know balanced economies and trying to inject things like this so let's purchase this straight away with 200 of them then upwards of 30 weeks of legitimate farming if you did it that way boom done and it is done there is no going back now now the mount itself is actually market tradable as well so currently it depends on your server you might be able to fish around for cheap vouchers purchase the mount and then sell it for a profit i've already seen the mount up to 350 million which does work out quite a considerable profit so if you want to play around with a market board you know buyer beware you've got to you've got to have balls of steel to give that a go but it says this whistle emits a florid tone that calls your island adenium to bear you thorf like the floweriest of steeds what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this in somewhere nice open airy with better light and the ability to fly so i guess we're going to the azim step then all right here we are in the wonderful azim step my favorite place in the game nice and bright and uh, lots of space to look at things let's look at this mount together then this is the isle adenium which on my page four as you can see is next to all of the other mandragora that we've collected thus far including the pyrifor from the um obviously the crates of randomness also from the tokens so it says the island adenium summon thorf your island adenium literally a desert rose by another name and doesn't have much of a scent to brag about sprouted and grown in the south mandra kingdom this adenium lived what he thought was a happy life until he encountered the pyrifor from the castaway vegetable, he learned about the great wide world beyond the island's bounds and began to dream of embarking upon grand adventures. The hidden text says, I have oft heard it said that a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two, Desert Roses. A quote there of Thancred trying to... Uh, obviously chat up some ladies so this is what the actual mount looks like as you can see with his squeaky squeaky animation it is very much the same as the other mandra in fact it is just a reskin of your typical mandragora but of course it's got this beautiful sort of almost spray paint marzipan look i don't know why i have that in my head but it reminds me of marzipan because, uh, I don't know, for some reason I've been looking at lots of sweets recently. I think it's because my diet has made me go, hmm, sugary things, but I'm trying to stay away from them. But it looks really cool, doesn't it? It's got a kind of like matte finish to it. It's not a very glossy mount with this big sprout in the back and bright green. It looks like it's airbrushed, basically, is what I was going to go for. In terms of movement, then, you've got your atypical... <laughs> happy little happy run and happy walk animations and one of its key things is when you take off da -da -da -da, it's got its own special animation which is this wonderful array of island 
Adeniums? I don't know. Lots of flowers, basically. Flopping around. We've got yellows. We've got purples. We've got reds. Absolutely fantastic. And that's really the theme of this, isn't it? Yellow, purple, and red. Yeah, very cool. And as you fly, those flowers are kind of left behind in a bit of a trail, depending on how quickly you move. Yeah, it's definitely going to be something that you will go, what was that when somebody flies over you? When they're going towards a hunt mark or something but apart from that you know it's a fairly basic mount it is just a reskin which is also why i think the price of this one has come down considerably already because if it was you know a cooler mount i suppose like a bigger more flashy mount i suppose is the the proper thing to say not cooler because it's subjective then i think the price probably wouldn't depreciate as much as it is i will say though if they plan to not do any major updates for Island Sanctuary, which is what we've heard recently, um, I'd be surprised if they didn't do minor updates where they add more mounts, because the Vegetal Vouchers is a great gill sink. It is a great way of rewarding a player for collecting things for a long time, and is a great way of getting the community involved on the market board as well, and buying and selling, and even if you don't want the mount, you can make a decent profit from it. So I would imagine... It would still be a good idea, even though I have got this and purchased the tickets, to save up as many of my own tickets as possible. Because who knows, in the future, especially in the next expansion, since they're not doing major content for this, there's no, you know, there's no confirmation whether they'll touch it again, depending on player feedback, but there's a good chance they might add more mounts to it. And uh, I definitely want to be in a situation where we can film that. When it comes out, it is a cute little bugger, isn't he? Right, let's have a look at um, its music then. I think it should come as no surprise. I think this one has the um, the Island Sanctuary music. Which it very clearly does. It's nice. I mean, it's the perfect music for it. I, I don't know what else they could have used instead, and I don't think they should have used anything else that's perfect. I do like it when the mounts from a piece of content reflect, you know, sonically the music from the place they are from. That's not always the case in the game, and it's always very difficult, I think, for the sound team to, you know, link all of this stuff up to mounts, or at least that's, that's what I've heard, is there's... A lot of reasons for that, but um, it, it always makes me happy when they do go that extra mile to make it so that we have that. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show this off, talk about where it's from. Let me know what you think about this. Are you excited about future mounts and minions and glamour items that they could potentially add to Vegetal Vouchers and the Felicitas Favors feature? Is the Felicitas Favor feature something that you don't really care about? And if that is the case, what would you like to see added to it that you would actually, you know, put your time into it? What, what would be the thing that would make you want to do it? I think a lot of people would say glamour at the end of the day. Because mounts and minions, at the end of the day, I think they're more of a niche audience. Whereas glamour and gear, that sort of stuff, visual appearance things, emotes, titles maybe. You know, maybe that's more up people's alley. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Another one to add to our collection. More videos from Patch 6.5 onwards on the way. And of course, we'll have full coverage of FanFest. I'll be doing vlog-style videos, um, which should be out towards the... Uh, well, it'll be the start of next week, because obviously I'll be traveling down to London. Um, I managed to, to get a ticket through the lottery system. Very fortunate enough to, to have entered like everyone else and get lucky and we'll be filming as much as possible so I'll try and meet up with other creators try and do some reactions to um, you know stage events and I'll show you around it because I think there's a, a significant lack of people doing vlog style content like that and we're going to do that anyway much love enjoy the rest of your day I'll see you all next time bye bye